Hi, my name is Joe Fry, and I'm a painter who works with acrylics on canvas, and I incorporate sea glass into my work. I like bold uh, colors. Um, the glass drives what I do, and it provides texture, so technically it's a mixed media work. I get our, my inspiration from the beautiful California coast where I live. There's flowers, nature, and of course the ocean. I like to study the animals of the sea and bring them into my art. This first piece is called Solstice Dance, and my inspiration was on the first day of summer, seeing these butterflies dancing around in a field as I was driving down the coast. And so I brought them in, enlarged the scale, and just made the colors stand out. I used the sea glass in the wings of the butterfly to add the texture. This second work is a small piece. It's called Autumn Mushroom. I love painting mushrooms in the fall. You start seeing them spring up after our first rains. They have a lot of color and texture, and I like to incorporate brown sea glass in the earth to anchor the piece down. I also like to study anatomy of our local animals. So in this one, rattlesnake skeleton, the sea glass incorporates into the spine and of the animal. It is actually mixed in with fluorescent paint as I, as I do the work. So under a black light, it will fluoresce. A little bit of spooky science, perfect for Halloween. In the larger piece, this one is There It Goes a Narwhal. And narwhals, um, like whales, I mean, fascinating animals. Whales are just so interesting to me. So I had this on the easel on my home, and a crystal in my window kind of caught and reflected on the canvas as I was painting. So I painted into the piece the rainbows that I saw. In this work, I use sea glass in the iceberg, just in the texture of the ice, and this is white glass that just brings that rough texture and feeling of the water, the ice. That's what I tried to capture with this piece. If I could meet any artist in history, the person I'd like to speak with is Caravaggio. I love what he did with light and shadow, and if you can see, there's definitely inspiration in my work here, because I like to play with the light and the dark and really make items pop out of the canvas. He flaunted the convictions of his time. He's a bit of a rebel and um, painted himself and did self-portraits that were sort of scandalous at the time, and I, I find that was uh, so bold, daring, and um, just it's just inspiring to me. The best part of being an artist is just the meditative quality of coming home and painting. Um, I'm a mom, and I have a full-time job, so after a busy workday, I can sit and just relax and paint for a few hours, and it's the best feeling. It just, um, everything seems to flow. It is so relaxing. <laughs> it it's meditative. Um, it just is inspiring to me. I love it. If I had a chance to speak with anybody who is a new artist, particularly a young person, what I would tell them, follow your own vision, what you see inside, and um, don't let other people's art get you down. Keep going in what you like to do and what you're inspired by. That's what I would say is um, you have your own vision and express it in the way you want to express it and don't worry about what other people think or what other people are creating.